Greetings, dear friends! I present your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Suzuki SX4. The first generation SX4 has a fairly wide range of transmission options. First, you can choose front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Secondly, the box can be mechanical, automatic or even a variator. There is something to think about. All-wheel drive here, of course, is plug-in, with a conventional BW electric clutch in the drive. The mechanical boxes are 5-speed and of a rather conservative design. The bulk of the automatic machines are the 4-speed Icing Light Series AW80 40LS, well known to Russian drivers from small Toyota and Chevrolet. Much more durable Icing AW50 40LE was also installed on 2-liter cars. The Jetco JF011E variator appeared after 2010 on cars for the American market. With it, the SX4 is less voracious, but the CVT is not very suitable for conquering off-road. Many of transmissions are considered strong enough, but we will still find a fly in the ointment. Closer to 100,000 mileage, the cables and the gear selection mechanism is over, more precisely the part of it that is installed openly on the box. If you try to drive in the gears, the wings will suffer, which, by the way, for more than 150,000 runs, it greatly loses in the clarity of the switching. Spare parts are not too expensive, there is every chance to keep within 15,000 troubles with work, but solving the issue may require a trip on a tow truck. If the oil level is missed, fifth gear will suffer in the first place, and if there is too little lubrication, you will still easily ruin the differential. In most cases, problems can be avoided by regularly changing the oil in the box or checking for leaks. On all-wheel drive cars, the bevel gear is quite reliable, but the drive shafts are quite delicate. After 60,000 run, those who like to ride on show and ice in winter began to suffer from vibration and wear of the cross pieces. The rear-wheel drive clutch doesn't fail if you do not indulge in drift, but do not overheat it and do not force the forts. After hundreds of thousands of mileage, it is advisable to flush this unit with a lubricant change. Otherwise, dirt kills the bearings and oil seals of the drives. Sometimes the clutch housing also suffers. And yet more often the method ends only with the replacement of the magnet, clutches and bearings. Cars with automatic transmissions with 1.6-liter engines are quite reliable. For calm drivers, the old 4-speed automatic AW8040 LS can travel more than 200-300,000 km. But it must be borne in mind that this automatic transmission has a relatively weak planetary gear, which very poorly tolerates abrupt starts and towing, prolonged movement at high speed or simply maximum load. Overly active drivers experience vibrations during operation, which is a characteristic symptom of this problem. A rare oil change and wear of the blocking linings on the gas turbine engine lead to contamination of the valve body and oil starvation of the box. Usually the direct package suffers first, followed by forward reverse. For example, a missing reverse gear is usually the second stage of oil starvation problems. The filter in the box is built in, so installing an external filter can significantly extend the life of the box and not miss the moment of sharp oil contamination. The box normally tolerates an oil change of every 50-60,000 km and doesn't require modifications with quiet operation, unless its selector doesn't like moisture and long downtime. It can give an error, up to which the box will work only in emergency mode. A more robust AW50 40 LE automatic machine is installed with a 2-liter engine. This box is made with a much larger margin of safety and is renowned for being indestructible. In any case, it is difficult to damage it with engines with a volume of 1.82 liters. The resource of the mechanical part, subject to regular oil changes, exceeds well over 500,000, and the linings of the gas turbine engine travel at least 200-300,000 km. The blocking algorithm here are extremely conservative. There is only one drawback. The fuel consumption of cars with this automatic transmission in the urban cycle is much higher than that of cars with 1.6-liter engine and the junior series gearboxes. On Suzuki, it is very rare to find automatic transmission options with auto-neutral enabled, which greatly reduces the resource of the forward package. Most of the problems of premature mechanical wear are associated with a design feature. A pressure leak from the rear drum when the weld is broken, which results in the pressure drop in the reverse package and wear of its clutches. Well, failures due to wear of the gearbox selector are also common here. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a single car with Jetco JF011E variator, but from the experience of operating on Nissan and Renault cars, we can say that under normal city use, even in our conditions, this box width will extend its 200,000 km. The main thing is as few jerks and slippages as possible and a minimum load until the oil is fully warmed up. And the obligatory oil change every 60,000. 
closer to 150 to 100,000 mileage, it is necessary to preventively replace the linear solenoid and the step motor, better at the same time with the chain. This will allow not to bring the cones and save the resource of the shaft bearings. However, the bearings should also be replaced preventively. All other problems are associated exclusively with the peculiarities of the operation of variators in Russia. While the advantages of the box are also well understood, this is a very low fuel consumption, good dynamics and elasticity in the middle speed range, the absence of minor failures and breakdowns of the box during operation. Suzuki SX4 has a lot of engines. With all this, it is difficult to find something other than the M16A under the hood of the car. Only one and a half liter M15A is found on right-hand drive cars and a 2 liter J20 at Fiat diesel engines of 1.3 and 1.9 liters can be seen extremely rarely. And also M18A, J20B, DV6A, TDE-D4 and D20A were theoretically installed here. Note that even the same M16A on the SX4 has several versions, and the engines from other models can be very different. So there will definitely be problems with the search for contract motors. But this is not a reason to be upset. The problems of the entire M-series of motors are approximately the same and can be solved. Let's consider them on the example of the M16A in the WT version with the one-phase shifter. The timing for motors of the M-series is chain and quite simple. The chains themselves are reliable and sometimes nature more than 250,000 km, in fact before the first overhaul of the engine. The successful design of the dampers and tensioner allows you not to have problem even with operating in very cold regions. Good supply in the cooling system allows you not to be afraid of the traffic jam life in large cities. True, this is only as long as the cooling system is in good order. The thermostat and radiators are not of the best quality and you need to carefully monitor their condition. The piston group is prone to coking of the oil scrapper th rings. With runs of more than 120-150,000, the engine begins to eat oil with an ever-increasing appetite, and then the compression rings also lie. But this problem is most likely just a consequence of the appearance of other resource malfunctions. It stores mainly the current valve steam seals and wear on the valve guides. The cylinder head on these engines is rather weak and the increased wear of the valve guides and their seats is quite typical with runs over 100 to 1.500 km. By themselves they will not disable the engine, but the progressive oil appetite due to the subsequent coking of the rings, the appearance of excessive pressure in the crankcase and oil leaks from the oil seals and gaskets forces them to repair with runs of more than 250-300,000 km. In cold regions it is very common for a catalyst to surrender up to hundreds of thousands of mileage, especially on cars before styling. It was changed under warranty, there was even a recall campaign, but now the catalysts are often failed. This is not surprising given the rather early manifestation of the oil appetite and the size of the catalyst itself. If the problem is postponed, dust will go into the cylinders and cause a sharp increase in ring wear. But there is good news, the engine has repair dimensions. It is designed quite simply and most of the problems can be eliminated in the butt. It is enough to sort out the cylinder head in time at the first times of the appearance of oil on the piston and valves, or use oils that do not coke rings, even with an oil appetite. Of course, you will have to clean the ventilation system on time, monitor the safety of the gaskets and oil seals, but in general there is nothing wrong. In such conditions, the natural wear of the piston group doesn't greatly affect the oil appetite, and the motors run for a long time. Cast iron liners are very very resistant, the crankshaft is strong, the old pump gives a good pressure reserve. Pressure reserve. In general, a good old school motor which only occasionally fails with the quality of workmanship and attachments. The motor electrics are far from perfect. There are many complaints about the quality of high voltage wires and ignition modules on engines before installing and about individual coils after. The sensors are also rather weak, but you especially need to be wary of oil leaks through the pressure sensor. It is recommended to change it with a run of more than 150,000 at the first side of oiling. On engines before restyling, a typical problem is a stuck EGR valve, which causes severe contamination of the intake manifold and the appearance of floating speed, and if the catalyst is dusty, then excessive piston wear. The J20 J4202 engines are essentially an enlarged copy of the M16 engines. They have a slightly more complex timing, but absolutely the same set of problems due to a weak cylinder head, a simple crankcase ventilation system and a piston group that cokes over time. They are just as maintainable and generally quite successful. And this information about the problems of Suzuki SX4 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.